And welcome to Ride It and Reviewing It, joining me this week. And every week we have the one, the only Robert. I need to stop calling you Robert. Robert. Call me Robert, Rob, whichever you wish. <laughs> We've also got Dan in the house. Hey, hey, I remember last week you were doing this and I was on the wrong side of the screen. <laughs> I don't know which side you are, that one or that one. <laughs> um, with Ride It and Review It, we are going to be taking a random ride out of our minds from the past and then we are going to ride it and give you guys whether you should ride it avoid it or consider it so rob what ride have we decided to review i think this week's ride it's got to be sore at thought park because it's halloween that's, that's right it. halloween so why not why yeah, not? it's Halloween month, so I think all the rides this week, uh, sorry, this week, this whole month is all going to be Halloween based. So we have decided Saw, right? Okay, yeah, then. So right. what? what is Saw then, Rob? Saw is a Gerslauer Eurofighter, um, and it is located in the Old Town section at Thorpe Park. It's a rather controversial ride, I do believe. People either love it or hate it. Uh, yeah, I, I've sort of grown to like it over time but um yeah initially it was awful but yeah it's, it's a bit like a, a bit like a fine wine it's it's maturing with age i like that <laughs> i like the fact of yes do you know what i'm going to use that yes it is a fine wine um yeah it did open like you said rob in 2009 and cost a whopping 13.5 million pounds um I was super excited when I heard that Saw was coming to Thought Park. I'm a massive Saw fan. I'm into the whole franchise, mate. I've watched them all. So when I heard that it was coming over, and I was like, ah, get in. It's a good so, concept, um, isn't it? It's a good, oh, it's a good, mate. it's a good base to have a ride on. Absolutely, like, and you can even see it. Are, yeah, you can even see it on the yeah. bridge. Do you know what I mean? That 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 uh, yeah. the, the first um, drop and stuff. Um, so when you've actually first. Like you go past Colossus. Sorry, let me just take some paracetamol. Um, and then as you go into the plaza of Saw itself, you've obviously got the big giant warehouse. I mean, it's, it's an eyesore. It's, it's, it's a monster, isn't it? It's a monster. But to be fair, it fits in perfectly with the Saw sort of franchise and branding. It just it looks like something where you would imagine a Saw film to be set. So Absolutely, it's, it's and, and, and it and it it feels like like I don't know like it should be in Universal Studios or you know somewhere where they do take passion and heart yeah. to theming Absolutely, because yeah. usually yeah. Merlin Parks are kind of like there's a ride and stick it there, but with yeah. this they've literally gone all out with it all, and even you got the police car there, like you said you got the um, the only downfall I have is the queue line. What what do you think of the yeah. queue line itself? Yeah. Do you reckon it could have been? Um, it could, they, they could have done more with it. I think that there's there's plenty of like mannequins and props and stuff in there. They're just sort of plonked in there. They're not really sort of utilised to their full extent. So, you know, they, they could it, have done more with it. It does feel like they've gone, oh, shit, we need some props. <laughs> Go to the mannequin store and pick some up and we'll dump them in this uh, bit of grass here. That's yeah, what it yeah, feels like. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, during COVID, uh, the whole queue line now is open up to everything. And by gosh, it's a long queue Yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, so you, you do like the six mile queue <laughs> through it all. And then you are heading into the warehouse. Now, do you think the warehouse is good? I think, yeah, I think because I, th I just think it fits with the saw thing so well. It's... If you had that on sort of any other ride, it would seem a bit crap. Mm. But it's it's it fits in with Saw so well. It's like like especially like in the later Saw films where you see him like in his lair where where he creates everything. It's that sort of setting. So I think that they I think they did a good job with that. And there's like the CCTV cameras everywhere and the screens to show like people and that. It it fits beautifully, but. Yeah, I think it does. Didn't they initially like used to stop people at the entrance and then just sort of send them through in batches? And then there was yes. like a shotgun sound or something that went off as you walked in. That yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know if they do that anymore. Me. But no, I no, 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 it happens. It yeah. happens. I remember we, we queued up. Um, I think it was a few weeks ago when we went down, and 
um, yeah, I took my youngest, who's yeah. never been on 1.4 rides at Thor yeah. Park, so we treated him. <laughs> And I said, I said to the woman, the woman was like, ah, yeah, carry on, carry on. I went, no, 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 just, just one second. Just one second, obviously, <laughs> waiting for the shotgun. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but you were right. Like, the theming in there is amazing. Like, there is certain traps in yeah. there from, I think it's from Saw 3. Um, they're all mixed up anyway. Um, uh, yeah, like you said, with the CCTVs, you've obviously seen Jigsaw. Oh, no, Billy, sorry. The actual yeah, clown. Yeah, the little, the little doll. Yeah. 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 However, though, I didn't realize in the actual station that Billy is in the station. It's only recently he, that he I wasn't, spotted him. He was him. in Saw Alive. Was and he? And then, yeah, yeah, he was in Saw Alive. And then once they got rid of that, they moved him. I believe, do you know where the disabled fast track entrance is? Yes. Have you ever been through that way? Yeah. You walk around that like little bit of theming at the bottom of the warehouse. I, th I believe he was in there initially. And then they moved him to the upstairs bit. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I remember seeing him down there before he was up up the top. That's brilliant, mate. The only thing I, I think that it should have really had in the station is like a pre-show. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I just feel like you should have been in a box with a the, the TV and it's like you got Billy there going, uh, want to play a game, you know? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, they couldn't get the real actors, so obviously they've had to kind of, you know, make it up kind of thing. But I do miss the music, you know, the whole, uh, you know, din, yeah, din, yeah, din. Yeah. I yeah. just wish it had that blaring out all over the place, mate. It just, yeah. oh. But yeah. Hey, yo, it is what it is. So, we're on the ride. We're on the and ride, yeah. And the, in, the, in the gloomy station that you board on, which I think <laughs> is, is really good again. It's, um, yeah, it's sort of dark and gloomy and looks a bit sort of dirty and, yeah, sort of sore-like. So, yeah, it's brilliant. Well, I know so, that... Yeah, um, it I know that if you are in, I think it's, you've got your first car what goes, and then you've got the yeah. second car behind it. Yeah. Now, I would advise anyone who's never been on it, try and get onto the second train. Yeah. Because you yeah. stop just near Billy, and uh, he cycles, and he says, like, That's you know. He comes uh, out of the darkness, doesn't he, on his, little, on his little tricycle. I can't remember what he says, but he says something. Um, oh, make your about, choice. You're, you're, you're in a die. device or something, or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even the timer as well, when you yeah, can see it counting it, down, that. it's just yeah. oh my gosh. So Rob, do you want to go through the uh, the ride layout then, and your yeah, opinion yeah. on it? So yeah, you start off in the warehouse. Everything's very dark. You can't see a lot. It's very smiler esque, obviously because they're similar sort of rides. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, you go around you go around the right hand corner, and then. There's a drop. I'm not sure if it's exactly vertical, but it feels... It's, it's past vertical. It's, it's pretty I feel intense. like you do come yeah. in. It's pretty intense. Um, yeah, and then you sort of... You drop down, and then it goes to the left. And then... You kind of like... You come into like a break room, don't, don't you? And you've got these harpoons firing yeah, at you. Yeah, it's, like, it's like... I don't know if the air cannons are still working, but it was like air cannons above your head to try and simulate sort of like, yeah, arrows and stuff, or syringes being fired at you, whatever it was. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and then does it go upside down inside? Yeah, it kind of. It does, doesn't you're it? You're doing that, and then you roll back down again, and then you yeah, do yeah. like a, a zero G roll, a bit like Smiler. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's very similar, isn't it? But then obviously you um, see Jigsaw on the floor. Um, yes, but I don't know if the water's still working. I'm trying to like, I, I I don't think it is. I've not. No. I don't. I don't remember seeing it in the last sort of yeah couple of times I've been. So, which yeah. is a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. But yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then it goes outside, and then you get to the vertical lift hill, which is very exciting. Rob, so you forgot to talk about the TV screens, mate, before oh, we God. even hit the vertical. That's the best bit. Oh, That's God. the one that makes me go. I love Saw. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Obviously, Jigsaw's there with his uh, on the two screens with the big timer, yeah. and it goes zero, and all you hear is Psh, game over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's the Rob, best bit. You have no idea. <laughs> the best bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so then you go outside and get to the vertical lift hill, which is, yeah, awesome. Awesome. There's not many vertical lift hills in the UK, so, you know, it's always a treat. It's always a treat to have a little lay down, have a little rest. And I think there's three. I think the speed, smiler, 
And so yeah, so I think that's yeah. it. There could be some more to be fair. Um, but like you said, yeah, you hit the top, you hit the crest, and then you kind of uh, you hit a hundred degrees um, down. Uh, yeah, which is quite forceful. Blades. It's quite forceful as well. It's quite a. It's, it's not like a, an oblivion stop and then you drop. It's you get whipped over the top, which is always nice. Especially it's, for uh, newcomers, they're like they're thinking that it is gonna stop. That's it, yeah. But it just it doesn't. Never it's does. just, there's no, there's, there's no break there. It's just <laughs> whoosh, straight over, straight over. But yeah, so. you kind of like you whip down to your hundred, then you come back on yourself, doing a uh, corkscrew, I think it is, or first invert or something. Yeah. And then um, you kind of then you trying to get off shots for this ride. That's it, then, isn't it? Because it goes right behind. That's it, guys. You can't really, warehouse. you can't really see it from that point, can you? It's just sort of, uh, yeah. A lot of turns and upside downies and yeah yeah it's just um to be fair i i, I used to love it it used to be in my top 10 and yeah. I, I think it is still in my top i'm not too sure actually but i just feel that it's got a lot rougher now we did the uh the back row there's only two rows but we back did the back is where it is the best place to sit i think it is though isn't it? Oh, you are, i Rob, think though. i think it differs train to train though because sometimes i've been on it and it's been absolutely awful but then other times it's been the smoothest it's ever been so yeah it's, some incredible yeah. uh air time as well there's one particular yeah, bit yeah. in it i think it's in the middle section i think it is where you feel you're going up and then you go straight down again yeah, and you yeah, can yeah. feel it yeah brilliant yeah and then obviously yeah. you bend round i think there's a few more i think there's i think there's only three inversions in the whole ride itself which yeah, is really a big is, shame yeah. yeah and then obviously you go into the brake run to be and then fair, i think i think with sort of how rough it is i think three is enough I think if it was any more, it'd be a bit too much. I think, in my Colossus, in my personal Colossus opinion. Two point anyway. oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then, as, as I said before, it's like so. I, I I'm I'm preferring it more the older it gets. Yeah. Which is weird because normally, yeah, normally they just get rougher. But I think it's getting smoother, or I'm just getting more tolerant to it. Yeah, I just I just feel though when um I just the it goes fairly quick quick as well it goes fifty five miles mm. an hour believe it or not but obviously I'm assuming it's from the uh, the uh, the I think it's a hundred foot I think it is um yeah it's a hundred foot and obviously with a hundred degrees that's yeah, where it gets so, its speed from yeah yeah um but then when it goes into the brake run then you kind of bend into the uh back into the station you got some bits and bobs and stuff you know from you know, i don't know it's like mannequin it's just like mannequin parts everywhere mainly yeah um <laughs> but then it's kind of that's it and that's but what then you, kind you know, of I, th I think when when you come back into the station you're trying to get the blood circulation back in your legs because the restraints <laughs> have just completely clamped down and you're like you're, your legs are about to drop off <laughs> oh my god that ride would be awesome if it had lap bars yeah it would yeah Oh Absolutely. my gosh! Can you imagine yeah. that drop? Yeah. Oh insane. my days. That'd be that'd definitely be an arms up job. That would. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, if you were to improve it, then Rob, um, or would you not improve it? Would you be like, do you know what? I'm actually quite happy. How I it think is. lap bar. Now, now that you've said it, lap bar would, yeah, completely change that coaster. Um, yeah. I would put the whole thing indoors. I would have sections. I would make it more to a dart ride. Okay. I would literally, yeah, um, there's certain twists and turns, and then there's a braking section, a bit like the Walking Dead, you know, halfway through it where yeah, it yeah, stops, yeah. yeah, and then it's like, and then it jolts, there's like a, and a bit of a pre show, again. and then, yeah, it goes off again, yeah. I would, I would yeah, love yeah. that, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, see, I like, I'm, I'm quite a fan of the Walking Dead as well, so I quite like, I quite like that ride. A lot of people slate it, and it's like, oh, X is better, but nah, I quite like it. What, Walking Dead? Yeah, Walking Dead, the ride, oh. I think it's a nice sort of, just... It's a nice little infill ride. Wow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know, though, Saw is actually its first um, horror, movie horror roller coaster. Never oh, knew wow. that. No. I know. No. And um, to be fair, it all went wrong on the uh, the actual day it's supposed to have opened. Now, the director, um, I'm trying to forget his name. I don't know if I've written it down or anything. Um, Darren Lell... Bam, Bamston, Bam, Bam's man, or something, Bamsman, or something like that. I do apologise. Not a clue. Um, the director who did uh, two, three, and four, he came along to open it, um, but it was a, it was a technical fault. Classic. However, the, <laughs> the reason why they actually closed it is because a woman had a, a, a panic attack. Oh yeah, I remember hearing that. Yeah. So um, they they didn't really want to make the riders that scared not to go on it, so they made out like it was a technical fault. My eyes, you but should have should, kept the same story. They should have played that. Yeah, it's, it's, that, it's that terrifying. It made her have a panic attack. Yeah. Oh well, it is what it is, man. Um, to be fair, and also it wasn't um, Merlin 
I think it was Merlin, or was it Two Swords who actually created it? I can't remember now. But I know that uh, the actual um, the uh, the film studios, uh, Twisted Pictures and Lying Lionsgate, they both said that we need this coaster to have its first uh, 100 degrees drop. They actually had the final say of it, saying we want this oh, wow, in the okay. design. So it was kind it of works, like, works well with the saw blades as well. Oh, yeah. absolutely, yeah, mate. Yeah. The whole Definitely thing, the whole it. thing. The whole thing makes it great and stuff. It's just a shame that it's kind of it. I don't know. It kind of. I just, I just wanted that extra more. It's yeah, very short, yeah. and I yeah. just wish that were more traps. I wish everyone says anyone you speak to, and uh, comment below if you will, if you agree on this, that everyone says that the indoor is the best bit. You know, it's it it's. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I. Yeah, I, I don't think I prefer either indoor or outdoor, but yeah, the indoor bit is, is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, yeah, okay, Rob, let's review this bad boy. How we're going to do this is, if it's number three, uh, pretty much if someone hands you a fast pass, you will go, no, thank you very much, I'm perfectly fine. Or number two, it's okay. If it's got a 10-minute queue, I'll queue up for it. You know, it's an all right ride. Or number one... Is that if it's got a six-hour queue, well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with your camera there. <laughs> Try it. Uh, if it's got like a four-hour queue, um, you will definitely queue up for this bad boy. So, Rob, which one's going to be? Number three, two, or one? <sighs> it's going to be another number two, I think. I think if it's got a short queue, yep, yeah, I'm all for it. But anything sort of past a 30-minute queue... It's not for me. How about you? Mine is going to be, believe it or not, number one. You have Whoa. to ride this ride. I mean, if you've never ridden it before and you are a sore lover, by gosh, you get your ass on there and you queue up for four hours. Yes, it's a short ride. They could have done more things theming around it all. But I think for the first experience, I think you're going to come away going, wow, that was incredible. Um, yeah, fair point. Yeah, but I know what you mean though. As 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 it time goes on and you ride it quite a lot, it's kind of in my eyes, it's kind of gone slightly down. But for the newcomers, you definitely have to ride it. Uh, why don't you guys let me know and Rob know by commenting below here, whether it's number three, number two, or number one. Also, you can follow us on our social medias on Instagram, Facebook. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell icon every time we upload a new video. You will be notified. Also, we like to have a discussion afterwards on our Discord. So make sure you do follow us on Coaster Dan over there. And uh, Rob, thank you so much. No, thanks for having me again. Yes. Anyway, guys. It's been emotional. Thanks very much and uh, happy Halloween. Bye-bye.